one thing I want to talk about here is actually Google Glass. And I know a lot of you may have forgotten about that. Um, <laughs> and it, it's and it's rightfully so because, sorry, I'm going to get a drink here. Um, it's rightfully so that you may have forgotten about it because when they first came out, $1,500 for a pair of a pair of pretty much no lens glasses with a little screen on the side was a little ridiculous. And even though a lot of people got it and a lot of app developers got it, it just never took off because they, you know, they weren't able to pretty much make it really integrate. Like you, they couldn't really integrate it comfortably into a daily life. I mean, their promotional videos was, was cool and everything, but it was just not practical. And even the market was definitely, definitely not ready for it because even when I walked around the city in New York City when I visited up there, when when I when I personally saw someone with a Google Glass, even in my mind, I was like, at first I was like, that's so cool, and then but deeper inside, I was like, man, that's a little bit, you know, pompous and stuff. It it, it just it didn't chime well with people, and I love the fact that when any, and whenever anyone saw a pair of Google Glasses, they'd just be like, are you taking a picture of me? Are you recording me? Like they were worried about their privacy from Google Glass. Like it was just it was. I just found it a little ridiculous, but um, but one thing though is I did have the opportunity to actually um, use Google Glass for about a week. Um, I'm, I was I was able I was volunteering um, for a team at my company who was playing around with a pair of Google Glasses, and, and the team leader pretty much allowed me to borrow it for a week to kind of give my two thoughts on it, my two my two cents on it, and so I I was one of those people and I wore it for a week straight even while driving and walking around and everything and just see just see how useful it was at first and number two is just see how people would react to it um and being on the receiving end of it i gotta tell you right now um i'm glad i don't have it anymore just because people did not have nice comments for me when i had it um I mean, I pretty much heard like backhand comments when I was just walking around, like people whispering in the back, "Yo, dude, look, look, that that kid must be like a, some like stupid nerd or something." I, like I don't know, but it was just not well received, and I just loved when I went to like restaurants or like fast food joints, and people, the like the girls behind the counters would just be like, "Oh, oh, oh, can you not take a picture of me?" I'm like, I wasn't. I'm like, I'm ordering food, um, but it was just like it was just a weird social stigma out there about it. Um, and when it comes down to the actual functionality of it, I definitely didn't find it useful. It was very annoying to it was it was very annoying to use. Um, pretty much like I mean yes, like you can bring it bringing up the menus, taking pictures and videos was pretty simple, but there weren't a lot of apps out there, um, a lot of useful apps. Like you know, pretty much I had a thought in my mind of how the Google Glasses would be, but they didn't they ended up not being anything remotely close to that and i think that's what the majority of the market was like because when google first announced it they were pretty much saying like uh, they were like welcome to the future and this is what you know all men reality is going to be like in the future and they they pretty much brought this like promotions and stuff and people were excited they're like all right like they imagine like guided like navigation being able to talk with people face to face um live stream, like all this cool stuff and none of it came to fruition <laughs> and I think that's what happened. But I'm glad that they did it. That's the one thing. You you, you got to be you got to give Google props for really pushing the envelope and bringing out Google Glass like that because they're they're looking towards the future. Obviously, obviously they weren't going to come out with a retail version within the next few years and stuff. Like there's this technology is far from retail mark like retail integration quite you know it, it really is it's really far from it because a proper augmented reality in my opinion is your glasses that's it no other peripherals no other extra doodads and everything like you can simply just put on a pair of glasses and that's all you need and you'll be able to get your information data scans videos photos e emails and whatnot right off of the bat that's proper integration even better than that for people who don't wear glasses so frameless so the lensless frame so you just wear the frames and be able to digitally project it right in front of you without damaging eyes and everything so that's going down the future but this technology like all this stuff i'm talking about right now is not impossible it's actually quite doable but if they were to release it right now you would have to pay like twenty thousand forty thousand dollars for a pair of these so 
obviously no one's ready for it. Um, but they're they're taking a step in the right direction. And in the news article, sorry, I completely overlooked it. But um, pretty much the CEO of Google is saying that um, they're they're going to come out with a new version of the Google Glass. So hopefully, when they actually officially announce it and bring it out, um, they they would have made major improvements to the display and the screen and pretty much the voice commands and the touch functionality. Um, oh, oh, by the way, uh, welcome gaming with Speedy Number Two. <laughs> Thank you. Um, um, and for those for those of you in in the live chat, um, please I welcome you guys to comment as I speak too, because I would love to react to your comments as well. But guys, definitely look out for augmented reality to start taking off sooner or later, because right now the gaming market is all about virtual reality and the HTC Vive, the Gear VR, and yet the new Oculus Rift coming out um, in the fall. But definitely don't count out augmented reality quite yet, because that's a whole different dimension of um, of pretty much just daily life integration and video gaming as well too. There's there's a whole nother realm piece. Virtual reality and augmented reality. I don't see them as competitors. They are they they are two different products. Sorry, they're, 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 they're two different. Sorry, they're two different sets of minds tackling two different problems. And if you don't get that, it's pretty much think about this. Once enhancing or once enhancing or pretty much improving on daily life when you're walking around in, in, pretty much embedded in reality in the virtual in the virtual space though it can be pretty much anything you want it to be pretty much your imagination dictates virtual reality and your imagination plus reality dictates augmented reality that's probably not the best metaphor but that's the best one i can come up with right now <laughs> 